How are you doing everybody? Welcome to the channel. This is TVG here and today I have an amazing video about an amazing gaming monitor. Before we get into anything though, please, if you learned something about this video, share the video, like the video, subscribe if you could. And if you're planning to actually buy a gaming monitor like such as this one, please just hit the, the, the link in the description below and that will take you to a specific website where you could buy it and that will perhaps help me out on the long run a little bit if you actually end up buying that monitor from the website. Um, before we get into the long talk, and I mean long talk is because really I don't know where to go when it comes to this review, where to focus specifically about the monitor because yes it is a gaming monitor, very nice gaming monitor, but at the same time it's not the best screen out there and it's one of the most expensive monitors with a price tag of $699. For some people this is way out of their budget, for other people is they have the money but they also consider this not to be the best monitor for $700. It has a very solid stand. This thing is very heavy, probably like five or six pounds, just a stand. So that means that you can swivel the monitor nearly 180 degrees. You can raise the screen higher or lower as you need to. You can pivot the screen as well. And, and it does that very nicely without the stand moving at all. And it, it's very solid, it's, it's solid for sure. Uh, I like the finish on the sides here. It's very, very slick. It almost doesn't have any frame on the side. So if you were to put a monitor like this next to another monitor, that would actually look very nice. So you don't have that thick frame in between each monitor. But again, <laughs> that would be $1,500 for you right there, right? So or $1,400 to be more accurate. So I don't know if you really want to do that. This is 27 inches regardless. So it's probably big enough for most people out there when you want to play games, whether it's a video game console or a computer. Dual USB ports on the side and dual USB 3.0 ports also beneath um, the screen. That would allow you to connect to any pass-through accessories that you might want to hook up to it or your computer. Uh, for example, in my case, I have a little um, LED light strip on the back that illuminates the back of the wall behind the screen and the computer so it kind of gives you know, a little bit of glow there so it looks nice and that one I have a hook up to one of the USB ports on the on the screen so see it, it has some benefits to having uh, USB ports on the on the monitors as well not just on the computer it looks good it looks nice um, it has a classic finish matte finish so it doesn't shine too much on the front but it does shine a lot on the back. I don't like that too much because, you know, I feel like I'm constantly cleaning the back of the monitor, although nobody could see that, but, you know, it's just, it's a dust collector. So I don't like that. And I just kind of, you know, wipe it down whenever I, whenever I remember. Now let's talk about the specs a little bit. This is a 1440p monitor, 144 hertz. It has G-Sync built-in. G-Sync, for those who don't know, it allows you to have a constant frame per second mark when you're playing video games. That way you don't go for very smooth gameplays to crappy, you know, lagging kind of like gameplays when you arrive in a specific location during the game where there is a lot of stuff going on. So it kind of gives you the impression that the game is smoother from the very moment you start playing to the very last moment where you stop playing. Uh, and that's really, in, in a simple way, that's really what it all comes down to. To help you out to have a smoother gameplay throughout your sitting time, all right? Um, the one thing that this monitor is missing though is that this is a TN panel and not an IPS panel. So I'm gonna elaborate here a little bit. Why would you wanna get a gaming monitor that it has a TN panel? or versus a monitor that has an IPS panel. So 1440p monitor, amazing. 144 hertz, amazing. But again, you know, to be able to run 144 hertz or even close to that, you need a pretty powerful computer though. So keep that in mind. One millisecond response time, great for fast shooting games or action games or racing games. G-Sync built-in, that means that with G-Sync you're able to have a smoother gameplay without having lots of artifacts and weird things on the screen when a lot of stuff is going on at the same time, right? You're just gonna have a steady, a smooth frames per second count and that way your gameplay will feel like it's smooth throughout the entire time that you're playing the game. Not so much like sometimes, you know, there is a lot of stuff going on and suddenly everything looks so nice but when you get to a spot where you have a lot of action then you notice that your frames per second will drop dramatically and it's just laggy and weird uh g-sync really just helps with that 
it, it, it allows the, 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 the computer to sync with the monitor, the graphics card actually, to sync with the monitor and give you smooth gameplay all throughout your, your, your gaming, right? Uh, and these monitors have uh, pre-built G-Sync, but believe me when I tell you, um, you're paying for that. G-Sync, when you find a monitor with G-Sync, it's gonna be usually more expensive than a gaming monitor without. I mentioned that, you know, there might be people that don't really want to get a gaming monitor like this. The reason is this. This gaming monitor specifically, like I said before, it has a $700 price tag. It's very expensive. But why? Well, like I said, 144 hertz, 1 millisecond, 1440p, G-Sync, it, 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 27 inches, of course, you know, that also have a little bit to do with it, but not so much. It's just all the, all, all the specs about this monitor just makes it a premium monitor. The problem with this monitor though is that the, the, the screen is a TN panel. The TN panels have very poor color accuracy, very poor contrast ratio, and the viewing angles, they're just plain horrible. You can't look like this because the color is gonna change so much when you look at it from an angle. I know not many people look at a monitor like this, you know, or whatever. But and again, that personally to me is not a concern because I, again, I'm never gonna look at monitor like that. But the color accuracy, though, the contrast ratio is is, is just very poor on TM panel, and that also applies to a seven hundred dollar monitor. So what you know, it's what, what are you gonna do about it? So that's the problem with TM panels. But on the other side of the card, though, if you wanna get a monitor that is fourteen forty p, that is that it has G-Sync, that it has 144 hertz, that is one millisecond, but it also has an IPS panel, so you could have amazing colors, well, then a monitor like that will most likely cost you about a thousand dollars, if it is 27 or 8 or 28 or 32 inches. Again, if you are looking for a monitor that is just simply amazing for playing video games, you don't care about anything else. You don't care about graphics editing, photo editing, um, anything like that that requires color accuracy but you want the baddest most badass monitor on the planet this is it 700 bucks will get you the top of the line of everything except that like as a you know TN panel right the cool thing about a monitor this size and a resolution of 1440p though is that it allows you to put so much stuff inside the screen there are certain games in particular uh, games such as you know Age of Empire or Warcraft where you can fit a lot more into the screen allowing you to have a, a bigger uh, you know field of view and it's just so much easier as well with you when you're editing videos if you're editing videos at 1440p now you can fit a lot more as well onto the screen and that way you don't have to you know slide that bar back and forth back and forth whenever you're trying to look up for certain things um, 1440p though I have to say it comes with a price you gotta have a pretty badass gaming computer to run a game at such a high resolution. I don't see any computer under $1,000 for you to be able to play at 1440p. Uh, you might be able to, but you're gonna have to lower the resolution, or not the resolution, but um, you might have to lower the details of other things, which in that case, it just simply doesn't make sense, right? What's the purpose of a 1440p monitor if you are not gonna play your games at that uh, high resolution but yes you need some pretty intense powerful graphics card and processor because not only you'll be playing at 1440p the monitor is also 144 hertz which is what gives you you know such a high price tag there are monitors that are 1440p in resolution but they're only 60 hertz meaning that if you have a very powerful computer you're maxing out that power at only a maximum of uh, 60 hertz. If your computer is able to put out, you know, 100 frames per second, your monitor will never give you that. Which again, that's the reason why this monitor is 144 hertz. Because this monitor is for the guy out there that has the powerful computer. Playing on a video game console, it works like a charm. Again, you'll probably be wasting your money if you're playing games on the PS4 or Xbox One and you're trying to get a monitor like this because uh, the, the, the Xbox and the PS4, uh, the video game consoles in general, they're simply maxed up at 1080p and hell, even some games, they don't even achieve 1080p. So the 1440 from this monitor is just a waste. 144 hertz, again, is also a waste because video game consoles are maxed up at 60 hertz. 
So you'll never get anything higher than what you're getting uh, from your from any other regular monitor. Um, but regardless though, because it is a one millisecond with your gaming monitor, it's just gonna fly. It's gonna be very fast, it feels smooth, nothing to brag about when it comes to color accuracy because it's not there, it doesn't look very nice. I, I, I cannot stress this enough, don't get me wrong, it's not horrible, okay? There are way worse monitors out there with very, very poor color accuracy and contrast ratio. Uh, this is not like that in any way. But for a $700 monitor, right, you don't expect to see things like that. But it all comes down to the type of screen built into this monitor, which is TN. And the TN panels are made like that. They are very fast, hence the one millisecond response time. But they, they, they just poor, poor color accuracy. IPS, they are slower to find a gaming monitor that has an IPS panel with a one millisecond or two millisecond response time. That's gonna be a $1,200 gaming monitor if it has everything else that this one has and the same screen size 27, 28. To be more specific, if, if you're looking for a big monitor but you want it for editing videos and photo editing, it's not a TN panel. You might, it's not 144 hertz, that doesn't matter. Perhaps what you should focus on is for a monitor that is 1080p at 1440 and that will give you what you're looking for. If you're looking for a gaming monitor that is freaking just badass for gaming, it's fast, it's, it's, it's re the responsive is great. When you push a button, the character will move. There's not gonna be lagging issues, artifacts. It has G-Sync, so you have a smooth gameplay uh, for any game that you're playing out there. Uh, 1440p resolution, so you can fit uh, more into the screen at any given time, depending on the game that you're playing. Then look no farther, this is the monitor for you. It, it's just amazing for that. But, you know, I, I wish I could have uh, perhaps have the same thing that this monitor has and also have a little bit of better colors because me personally, sometimes I like to watch movies in my, compu in my computer and I tried to do that with this monitor and it was just not a, a good experience. And then I just stopped the video and I tried several movies, but it was just not a good experience. Um, I had to, you know, move on and continue to watch my movies on my 4K TV because this monitor is just not great for watching movies either. But like, again, when it comes to, uh, you know, you, you will say, well, man, you're hating this monitor so much, and but you still have it, yes, because when I bought it, I was focused on using this monitor for playing video games only, games like GTA 5, Call of Duty, games that need and require lots of power and, and, and good processor speed so the game doesn't lag, it doesn't look weird, it doesn't have artifacts. But long story short, I ended up playing mostly on my Xbox One and never in the computer. Only recently I bought a couple of games, I tried out the Tomb Raider just because I know the colors are so nice and I wanted to try it out, as well as the Mafia 3 a new game that came out a few months ago. Uh, and I love it, but uh, I hated how the color look at certain levels, certain uh, you know, spots are on the screen, if the, if the rooms were too dark, it, it, it didn't feel good, it didn't feel as good as when I play on the 4K TV. Um, and then again, I moved away from playing uh, fast shooting games such as, you know, Battlefield and uh, Call of Duty. Um, therefore, I didn't really think that, you know, why would I need such a badass monitor, you know. I, I'm trying to play games now that are more like adventure games, so I could sit back, relax, and just en just enjoy the gameplay. That's what I'm trying to do now. I really kind of wanted to just speak my mind here. I think that I hate it on the monitor more than what the good things I have to say about it. But don't get me wrong, this monitor is just excellent. Every way around it, you know, it has a good build, it has excellent specs. The price, 700, I don't know. I feel it's a little bit too high. But you'd be surprised, this monitor goes on sale very often for around $450 in Best Buy and Amazon. And if you find this monitor for $450, then get it. Because you cannot find a monitor like this for that price anywhere else. You need to get it when it's on sale, you'll be saving a ton of money. If you're looking to spend $700 or $800 though, and you still wanna get it because you just play lots of games, but on your computer, not on consoles, on your computer, then get this monitor because the G Sync, the 144 Hz, the one millisecond response time is just excellent, right? You can't beat that. But 
If you also like to perhaps watch movies on the monitor and whatnot, or edit videos as well, then you might not like the, that, that side of this monitor too much because again of the TM panel versus an IPS monitor. But that comes with the trading, you know, if you want to get everything, uh, including IPS, then you're looking at $1,000, $1,100, that's a ton of money just for the monitor. So you better have a pretty badass uh, gaming computer, right? I don't hate the monitor, I like it a lot, but I think it's time to move on. I don't play games like I used to anymore, and I think I'm going to move on to an IPS screen, perhaps a 4K monitor, perhaps a 1440p but still IPS and I don't care if it's not as fast as this one with a 1 millisecond response time because again I'm not playing the games like I used to anymore and now I kind of like try to enjoy it a little bit more uh, so having such a speed on my monitor is not really what I need anymore in my life and that is why I decided that I think I'm gonna get rid of this one and perhaps move on and get something else um, again guys that's it subscribe to the channel like this video share this video uh, hit the link in the description below if you're planning to buy a monitor and see you around next time or just hit this little square link here because I'm also reviewing an ultra wide LG monitor that is perhaps the keeper uh, if if I love it we'll see we'll see about that take care